the Puma world order, the greatest that you will see, best that there was, that there is, or there will be, talk a lot of trash, that he talking about is so fake. As What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, I am of course CM Puma, wherever you may be and however you may be watching, thanks for making this video a part of your day. In the last video, we took on the team of TM61, which I believe we have uh, faced off against every team so far um, in this in this uh, universe mode. Grizzled Young Veterans, who almost beat us. We've been beating the crap out of Heavy Machinery. We faced off against The Hunt. Street Profits, another one that has uh, been really hard on us. Not... Oh, that's on roll. TM61, and of course, Undisputed Area. So... We've done a good job. We faced everybody. We've won. Um, I think Taurus has only had like two single. Oh well, maybe like four singles matches against a, a handful against um, Roderick Strong, and then even one against Mortis. So I don't know what that's about. We're gonna go ahead and start this show. We're opening here this week against Cassius Ono and Velveteen Dream, and a potential rivalry, which makes no sense to me. But we're gonna start it and see what happens and here we go it uh, seems like um you know we've gotten into oh what he just slapped the crap out of us we've gotten into um area here where we are just facing off against whoever they're gonna throw at us we are the tag team champions um undisputed era is the are, well are the number one contenders but we faced off against everybody. We've defended the titles against Undisputed Era. We have defended the titles against the Street Profits, I believe, uh, because oh, all over the face. Because at the time, the Undisputed Era and TM61 were in a rivalry, and that left the Street Profits um, to take on the Faces of Fear for the NXT Champion uh, Tag Team Championship. So. Like I said, right now, we're just facing off against everybody. I think after WrestleMania, I've mentioned it a few times in other videos, uh, we're just going to put Taurus on SmackDown. We might relinquish the uh, NXT Tag Team Championships to go to SmackDown. Or we might just keep the championships and, um, and just maybe do both shows. Just do kind of like a highlight thing for NXT. Um... And that way, we don't lose the titles, but we also uh, are on SmackDown. So we'll, we'll have to see how that goes. Look at Taurus dropping Cassius right on his head. And this match might be over very quickly. Wow. Uh-oh. Kick to the midsection. And, and a huge boot. A running boot right to the face of Taurus. And Taurus is going to throw Ono back into the ring. Wow. He's... Oh, oh man. O ono went for a kick there. Okay. Oh, look at this. Big, big power slam. Holy cow. This match might be over before it's even started. Velveteen Dream's not even in the ring. Mortis is not in the ring. And a reversal from Ono. Oh, my gosh. Elbow. No, we don't want to do that. We don't want Cassius Ono to tag the Velveteen Dream. Elbow drop right to the face. No. No. Oh, gosh, he did. You goofball. Oh! And he went for some kind of uh, a chop block there. And a snap suplex. Somewhat a vertical suplex there from Velveteen Dream. Ono on the outside, though. And a big clothesline. Taurus now bringing in Mortis. We know Mortis is just a beast in this ring. He's gotten a handful of victories. Uh-oh. Reversal there. He's gotten a handful of victories for the team of Faces of Fear. Oh, no. Oh, okay. He went for a... a oh, no. We, we can't reverse. We got an, a strong reversal problem right at the moment. Now we can. If he tries to hit us with his finisher, 
Which I don't I don't even know what the finisher is. Oh, we moved. Mortis moved. And oh got him right in the midsection there. Looks like Velveteen Dream might be suffering the same fate as Cassius Ono. Oh my gosh. Nice job there. By Dream. He just pushed him out of the way. Manhandling Mortis. Oh, okay. He is getting cranked. Let me see what oh, Velveteen Dreams uh, grounded opponent, and he's on the top rope. Okay, we 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 can handle that. Oh oh, I'm sorry. Did the Velveteen Dream just do a freaking jackhammer? What on God's green earth? is happening uh oh here we go look at this is he going for it oh Taurus moved out of the way at the last second and Velveteen Dream missed the Rainmaker no you get in that corner and here comes the tag team move here got him up oh a lot of a lot of the tag team moves go towards the head of whoever it is they're facing. That might have saved this matchup for uh, Taurus and Mortis. Oh, body splash from the top or from the mid mid rope there. Elbow drop to the face, and now now it's time. He's gonna pick him up. Deliver that Arn Anderson. No. He went for the spine buster and the dream reversed it. Shot to the face. Uh oh. Look at this. Kick right into the midsection, right into the gonads, right into the business. Into the turnbuckle he goes. And Mortis reverses, or excuse me, Taurus reverses out of it and immediately <laughs> drops him hard. Drops him hard. With that spine buster. Got him with that Arn Anderson. And now, are we about to. Uh, yeah. Uppercut. And. Okay. Into the corner there. And an elbow to the face. And now. Uh oh. Come on. Where are we at here? Come on. Come on. What are we doing? I'm just gonna beat on this dude. Big chop. Uh oh. Here we go. Over the top for the Velveteen Dream. Holy cow. And Taurus. He's cranked up, man. Center of the ring. Not center of the ring. I mean, he's in the ring. What am I saying? We gotta get Velveteen Dream back into the ring now. And you think we're gonna let you tag your partner I don't think so I think it's about time we ended this match oh my goodness he reversed out of the corner out of the double team oh gosh oh wow what a move he just just destroyed him there dream now picking him up for a side slam a little pump handle some type side slam there and I knee to the face good grief good grief I mean we're still we're still really putting the moves on these guys we're beating the crap out of them that's for sure they're they're uh, they're having a hard time uh oh oh man Taurus went for a a chop Velveteen Dream doesn't know what's going on. Dang. He is he is working over Taurus right now. And Taurus moved out of the way. And another spine buster. Big time. Huge spine buster to, to the Dream. Here we go. Tag finisher coming at you. Look at this. Ducks him. Taurus, though, has him up. Hands him over to the big man. P 
power bomb. Huge, huge move. And now, he just dodges out of the way there. We're gonna go for the pin. We prop, look at that, Ono's not even coming in. He knows. Ono knows, that's weird to say. Faces of fear get a victory, man. It looked like we were gonna win really quickly. And then they picked it up, but look at this. Grizzled young veterans coming out. They want to go with the champs. You don't have what it takes, punks. You don't have what it takes. They did give us a run for our money, but I don't think they're tag team championship worthy yet. Well, that's a hell of a way to start off NXT. Taurus and Mortis, your tag team champions, get a victory. Looks like we're got, getting into something with the Grizzled Young Veterans. We might get them at the pay-per-view, but we'll have to see there. Dana Brooke loses her promo call-out to Alicia Fox. Of course, Johnny's going to beat Tromba. Natty beats the NXT, champion, NXT Women's Champion. That's two losses in a row for her. Remember last week? Uh, in the last video, she lost to Gloria Glitters, of all people. Asuka gets the victory in the triple threat. Oni Lorcan beats the North American champion. And then, of course, Chris Falcone having a terrible go um, against the Undisputed Era. But he does get a victory in that matchup. Interesting. Okay. He manages to outlast the Undisputed Era while they're outside the ring, no doubt, stalking. So let's see. Let's take a look at this news here. James Drake and Zach Gibson appeared on stage to mock their rivals, Taurus and Mortis, after the match. The trash talking coming out early from the from the teams. Okay. Dana Brooke called out Alicia Fox, who beat her down. Ruby Riot attacked Carrie Sane. There you go. That's why she lost. Oni Lorcan beats Trey Jeter. And Chris Falcone almost walked out. But they stopped that. All right. Moving right along. The go-home show for NXT Philadelphia. Uh, let's take a look at the news here. Um, tensions explode. Tensions begin to thicken. Seth called out Dolph Ziggler. Ember Moon and Alexa Bliss were battling it out, it looks like. Corbin's music played as a distraction. Triple H showed up after The Undertaker's match and taunted his rival in his ring. Triple H is supposed to be feuding with Brock Lesnar. Who knows what's going on there? Roman Reigns and John Cena for the millionth time. Bludgeon Brothers and Gallows and Anderson. Mutual respect. Okay. Tensions begin to thicken between Naomi and Paige, Shinsuke, and... Oh, blindsided Shelton Benjamin. Okay. Becky and Carmella have been going at it forever as well, so... Let's see. Are we on the card? We are taking on uh, Street Profits opening up NXT. That is going to be in the next video. We've got Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly taking on the Grizzly Young Veterans, Zach Gibson, James Drake. I wonder if we can interfere in matches. Oni versus Velveteen Dream, Alicia Fox, and Natalia. Wow. Interesting. They're making them team up. I like to see that. And Shayna Baszler and Ruby Ryder are going to finish that out. But that is going to be it for this video. We're going to finish out and we're going to take on the Street Profits to start NXT in the next video. And then it's on to NXT TakeOver Philadelphia. I'm assuming that says Philadelphia. It does. Okay. And then we're going to see what's going on in Philadelphia and who we have to face there uh, for the Tag Team Championships. Thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not. And come on back. We're headed to NXT Philadelphia.